you. Let the door close. Why? You're like my dad. Okay. Let the door close. I don't understand how you can lock me in a jail. Let the door close. Please. In a rusty, bloody old jail. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in the middle of Texas with Manuel Mata. Now, I have not covered this guy too much on this channel, but he is part of the uh, Harvey Jailbird crew. Yes, one of those guys. And this guy has a mouth on him about as vile as Glenn Serio's. Which he tries to use on the judge, but it doesn't work out too well for him. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Mr. Brissett. Your Honor, I believe Mr. Mata has graced us with his presence. We ask that he be sworn in and put under the rule. Is there a Mr. Mata in the courtroom? You can stand right there at the rail for me, please, sir. Raise your right hand for me. You solemnly swear or affirm testimony given this cause to be the truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth shall be God. I don't know what this is about. Hey, Judge, may we approach? Wait, Frauditor, why can't you swear to tell the truth? Is it because that you don't know how to tell the truth because you are so morally bankrupt? And, well, if that's not the case, can you please explain why you can't uh, swear the oath? I don't understand what's going on. I'm swearing you in as a witness. So, what authority, sir? All right, jury goes to the jury room. Everyone may be seated. Mr. Mata? Yes. Is your name Manuel Mata? Yes, sir. Your date of birth is 7 1980? Yes, sir. Wow, you're in your 40s? Well, there's an old saying I've heard, with age comes wisdom, but I don't see any wisdom in you, nor do I see any common sense or a good future. All right. I have issued you an oath to, take, to uh, tell, testify truthfully. Are you going to take that oath? I have a question. No, are you going to take that oath? Uh, no. All right. Um, you are on bond on some cases, is that correct? Yes, Those bonds are being declared insufficient, Sheriff. Uh, what, sir? What's, What's going, going on? on? What did I do? I need, I need my lawyer present, sir. We will get you your lawyer. You question me without a lawyer present. And I don't know what you are doing. I don't know what's going on. Well, like I said before, age and wisdom and common sense... Looks like you had no wisdom nor common sense because if you would have had any of that, you would have known not to smart off at the judge and now you're getting put in the cuffs and taken away again. So, now you have won the grand prize for stupidity and in this case, it is the fact that your bond has been revoked. Congratulations! For what? For what? I asked him a question. 
I don't have no I don't have no knowledge of this case, and I just wanted to know who I, who's asking for me to be uh, sworn in. The defense, the, the DA, the, the defense, the judge. Who's asking it? Those are questions I need answers. If you're going to remote me, you ain't got to be aggressive with the dude. Let me see the lawyers. Well, Manuel, I'm sure your mother must be very proud of you because at least you showed up to court. <laughs>